This is my backyard, and in this video, you're gonna see me rip it apart. I had plans to put in a patio right here, but I haven't really gotten the time to do so, and I've just found the time recently. So stay tuned. I started off by drawing out the plot that I wanna dig out for this patio. It ended up being around 14 by seven feet or something like that. This hill has always been a pain in the butt and I wanted to get it out of the way. I want you to pay close attention to those bushes behind me right now. Those won't be there later in this video. But for this, I just used a regular can of spray paint, went around, marked out my area. And when I was done, I began to dig. So the digging was pretty easy, honestly. The soil wasn't too hard and I just loaded it up in a wheelbarrow and wheeled it behind my garage. I used to have turkeys in the backyard, so that's where I put the dirt. I think I ended up having around, I don't know, 100 or 100, I think it was 114 wheelbarrow loads. I didn't add it to this video, but if you go over to my channel page and check it out, I have a short where I found an old clay marble while I was digging, but I was finding all sorts of stuff like a couple wheat pennies, these marbles, matchbox cars, old pottery and broken glass. It was pretty sweet. So I actually have a little buddy in the backyard. I grabbed some food. Uh, I haven't seen him recently, but when I was recording this video, he was around quite a bit. Just walk back into the backyard with some food, throw it out, and he usually comes out. Let's see if that quail comes out. There it is. So basically, I just dug all day on day one, and I was pretty proud of how far I got. So I got back to it on the next morning. As you can see here, there's a little bit of snow around. Uh, I was digging this in March. I didn't know if you guys could tell or not, but the weather was ranging from 60 degrees some days to probably low 20s other days. It's day three on the dig. We got some snow last night. I'm not gonna keep showing you guys me digging, so I'll show you where I end up on the end of day three today. I'm getting to that point where I'm kind of nervous. Did I do the right thing? It looks bad, but we'll see. It's starting to come together and shape up. So I just kept on digging. 114 wheelbarrows. Here you can see I'm lifting up a rock. This flagstone is actually what the patio is gonna be made with but this one was just under the chimney back there, as you can see. So I pretty much finished digging it out and then I tried to rake it to get it as flat as possible. I wanted to grade it away from the hot tub and towards the, uh, the red shed down there, if you can see it. That way it would drain properly. Here I made a little drainage way I've never seen someone do this, but I decided I'm gonna put gravel in there, cover it with slate and then grass. Uh, right there is where I've been dumping the dirt. I used to have turkeys there, so there was a lot of room for dirt because they packed it down. And here's where I'm getting my stone, our old fireplace. So pretty much pulling it and walking it up. I don't know how yet. It was pretty easy to get out. I just had to use a pry bar, get a nice fulcrum like a log sometimes, and then I'd lift it up they were really heavy. Um, these ones were hard because I couldn't walk them up, the mid-sized ones. And here it is so far. So my bad on this, but I forgot to record. Anyways, the only things that you guys missed was I laid down a weed guard and then some gravel. Right now we're just laying around the uh, flagstone to see what we like, what looks good, how it's arranged, etc. This stone is actually pretty sweet. It used to be our sidewalk from back in the day, and we just kept it when we got them replaced. It was difficult, though, because at first I had all the gravel even and level, but all these pieces of stone are different thicknesses, ranging from like three quarters inch all the way up to probably five inches. All right, everybody, I'm moving the rocks from down there up here, and right now I'm just laying them out to where I want them. I'm gonna have a time lapse of me putting them in place. But it's March right now. Mom, how warm is it? Oh, 60. 60 in March. 
Got my Crocs and four wheel. And if you've noticed, the bushes are gone. My mom burned them down on accident. It was an accident. So the patio is starting to take shape. I'm liking how it's turning out. Rocks are fitting good. Here's a massive one. I had two that were this big and they were really difficult to move by myself, but I figured out that if I walked them corner to corner, it wasn't too bad. I had to make sure I didn't crush any of the other ones too when I went over the patio. I wouldn't recommend moving rocks with uh, Crocs on, but hey, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, I've been crushed a couple times, lost a couple nails, and you still don't learn. You want me to hold like this? Tell us what we got going on. <laughs> um, we're putting in a patio with various cuts of stone and rock. <laughs> and they, we filled in the cracks and we added some more rocks the bigger ones that you're seeing we looks added pretty good nice <laughs> all right so as hannah just said filled in the cracks now we're gonna let it settle get some sand and some some palmeric sand to fill in but the predicament right now is cut stone for the retaining wall or brick? Let me know what you think in the comments. I just wanna let everyone know that I've never put in a patio like this. So if you have advice, leave it in the comments and take everything I do with a grain of salt because there's probably a lot better ways to do this and I'm probably doing a few things wrong, but I'm doing this for free pretty much. I got all this from, uh, from our backyard.